Wait a minute, Mulan lost us how much? More than the Lone Ranger? How is that even possible? <sighs> no, California still won't let us reopen Disneyland. I don't know, can't we at least rent it out for birthdays or something? We're losing 30 mil a day here. <sighs> Hall production on Aladdin 2, the genie's got COVID. If he starts multiplying during a musical number, we could have a real super spreader event on our hands. What is it, Janine? Mr. Richards, there's a Mr. Netflix here to see you. Fantastic. And here I thought passing my kidney stone was gonna be the least pleasant part of my day. Send him in. Any chance I'm gonna get paid? <sighs> Dick Richards, it's been too long. <sighs> How are things going in the House of Mouse, buddy? Oh, hey Bob, everything's uh, everything's uh, under control, situation normal. We're all fine here now, thank you. Oh, I can tell. Seems like you've been giving the fire department a run for their money. You know, with all the fires you've been putting out. <laughs> Nailed it. Yes, that's uh, very clever, Bob. What can I do for you? Actually, Dick, I think it's more like, what can I do for you? See, word on the street is Disney's been having a rough time this year. How much money did you lose last quarter? Two, three billion? 4.7 billion? 4.7, that's right. Wow, that's a lot of cheddar, Dick. Well, 2020's been a challenge. You know, it was only a year ago, in a much nicer office, I might add, that you told me you were going to, what was it, crush me? I'm not gonna lie, that stung a bit, but seeing you here in this sad state, well, it's making me feel charitable, which is why I wanted to come here and offer you a lifeline. Lifeline? A buyout, Dick. I think it's time to bring Disney into the Netflix family. Heck, I'll even let you keep your job. Under my direct supervision, of course. The public would love it. We could bring Daredevil back. Oh, sorry, I gotta take this. Oh, what, is that Janine calling to buy you some time? Come on, Dick, you're better than that. Shut up, it's the board of directors. Yes. Yes, of course, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. The board has decided on a corporate restructure. They are folding all of Disney's media and entertainment divisions into a single entity with Disney Plus at its head. Giving me complete, unobstructed control of the company. Wait, what? To be honest, Bob, I'm surprised it's worked out so quickly. I figured it would have taken at least a couple more months for my plans to pay off. Plans? What are you talking about? Disney is hemorrhaging money. Your plan was to become the head of a crumbling empire? <laughs> oh, poor, sweet, remarkably unimaginative Bob. Don't you remember what I told you last year? We're Disney, Bob. We have the money and we have the patience. I'll run this company at a loss for years just to take you out. How did I see that? But then I got to thinking, how could I speed up the process? Take a massive short-term loss in order to ensure maximum long-term gain. So I had the Imagineers cook up this little cocktail. Oh my God, is that? I think you know exactly what this is, Babo. No, you didn't. You couldn't. Again, how long have you known me, Bob? You really gonna put anything past me? But millions of lives have been lost. And that is incredibly tragic, really. It is, but through the loss of millions, I've changed the viewing habits of billions. In a matter of mere months, the entire world has been retrained in how it consumes entertainment. Digital may have already been on the rise, but now it is full stream ahead, baby. Movie theaters are basically dead now. They'll never get the numbers they had pre-quarantine, and with a massive increase in cord cutting throughout the pandemic, cable TV is effectively on life support. Now there's nothing standing in streaming's way. That's horrible. Oh, come on, Bob, you can't feel bad about this. The pandemic helped you out too. Do you really think Tiger King would have become a cultural phenomenon if people weren't literally stuck in their homes without anything better to do during its release? And do you really think 80 million people would have watched that remarkably unremarkable old guard movie if real movie theaters weren't closed? I mean, I like Charlize Theron in it. Everybody loves Charlize Theron, but let's not pretend like this was her best work. So you're welcome for those trivial wins, but can you guess which streaming service has seen the most massive growth since the pandemic started? Quibi? Disney Plus. 
we hit our five-year subscriber goals in eight months. In just our first year, we've already accumulated 73 million subscribers, a feat that took Netflix nine years to pull off. And the best part? We accomplished all this without even really trying. I mean, just look at our original content offerings. The only show of note we have is The Mandalorian, which is basically just a half-baked Western buddy comedy starring a Boba Fett lookalike and knockoff Baby Groot. And that's it. Imagine what happens when we actually start bringing out the big guns like Marvel. Face it, Bob, now that I have the keys to the Magic Kingdom, there's nothing that can stop me. Oh yeah? Well, what if I blow the whistle on this whole operation, huh? Gonna be pretty hard to run a company from a jail cell. <laughs> That's cute, Bob. Thinking you have the power or intelligence to stop me? No one would believe you, Bob, because aside from talent, you also lack proof. The one thing you would accomplish, however, is getting on my bad side, which is a place no one wants to be. You don't scare me. Really? Remember when Cuties won all those awards at Sundance, making it seem like an irresistible movie for your indie slate? Yeah, it was me who stuffed the voting boxes in order to trick you into buying it. We lost so many subscribers. And remember that mysterious intern who made the persuasive argument that Netflix originals shouldn't run past three seasons? That was me too. Oh God, Santa Clarita diet. I'm so sorry. And does this face look familiar to you? Melvin from accounting? Well, gee, Bob, a pandemic and global recession is the perfect time to raise subscription prices. It was me the whole time. But Melvin was the best man at my wedding. And I did all that to mess with you, Bob, simply because I was bored. Do you really want to see what happens if you get on my bad side? Yeah, didn't think so. So why don't you grab your cool leather jacket and unearned sense of self-worth and get the hell out of here. Enjoy Netflix's temporary little boost while it lasts. Sure, Disney may be losing money on the parks now, but eventually the pandemic will end, and the teeming masses of simpletons will come flooding back, making us billions. And when they don't have to stay cooped up inside their houses anymore, they'll realize that you have nothing more to offer them. I mean, Netflix is already starting to lose subscriber growth and the pandemic hasn't even ended yet. Face it, your success was simply due to the circumstances. You're the entertainment equivalent of everybody panic buying toilet paper. And like toilet paper, I plan to enjoy spending the next few years wiping my ass with you. <laughs> Every time. Hmm. Tangy. What? It's Gatorade! I mean, come on, did you really think I would start a global pandemic just to get ahead? There's no way a multi-billion dollar corporation would be that evil. Right? Hey folks, thanks for watching. To see the original Netflix Reacts Disney Plus sketch, click the box on the left. Or to see another Dick Richards video, click the box on the right. Anywho, I'm off to rewatch Santa Clarita Diet because it was an amazing show and it ended too soon and I just can't even right now. So I'll, I'll not do it. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.